Last fall, we started um, the implementation of a disc golf course at Matawqua. Um, that park gets no use and or very little use. And um, so we were trying to think of something that would just be really sustainable, removable, low impact, low cost that we could try to encourage people to go out there. Um, and Matakwa is near Kinnikinnick? No, well, it is on the back side, but it's out um, Charleston Pike, out off of Charleston Pike on Walnut Creek Road. So, you know, if you go down Main Street exit, take a left down Charleston Pike, and then that goes into Walnut Creek Road. Okay. But that's one of the newer parks of the. No, we've had it for a long time. It was, um, I don't know. But I've been here longer than I have. So Gary was still the director when that park was opened. Okay. So Cl yeah. clearly, I spend too much time at Buzzard's Roost. Yeah, <laughs> but well, th that's the one complaint about um, Matawqua is that it's too far out of town. It's nine miles out of town, and people don't want to drive that far. So I know. But um, so we were just trying to do something to increase usership there, and we got the first nine holes in. Um, we'll be finishing that up hopefully by the first of May. We'll get the back nine in. Um, it's just everything's going to be just organic, wooden tea boxes with the crushed stone, um, the baskets. Everything is 100% removable. If we find that the ground, the, you know, people's traffic is causing erosion or any problems, we'll be able to go in. We have very little um, financial outlay on that, and we'll be able to just go in and pull the whole thing out. So. And like Buzzard's Roost, that's intended to be preserved, not a recreational no, park? No, none of our parks are preserved by law. None of our parks are preserved. We may end up making Heron Downs our newest park um, that hasn't opened yet out on um, 159. We may end up making that a preserve, but that's a you, they have to be filed, titled, and deeded a certain way to be a, a preserve, and none of ours are. Okay. So I'm learning all sorts of things in this interview. Yeah. Is there a pretty, a, a lot of a disc golf activity here? So yes, and we have several courses in Ross County, Chilcothe in particular, um, enough so that I was like, yeah, do we really need another one? But um, the First Capital Flight Club, they're helping with this Project Bad Apple. Um, they're they're helping with the implementation of it with the layout and all of that and they say that all the other courses in town get used a lot so they said you know they they cannot imagine that it won't get to have someplace new to go that won't be just overrun so we'll see so first capital flight club people first can cap mm -hmm. find them online yeah project bad apple well i'm not sure if first capital flight club it's micah shanks has helped us a lot um and he's with project bad apple um, but he's also part of First Capital Flight Club. So I think probably Project Bad Apple is going to be our main, that would be the main source of involvement. Okay.